Welcome to Lisa's Family Table. Today, it's gonna be a great day, right? Oh, yes. So we bought a whole tenderloin, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a tutorial today on how to break down the tenderloin, and we're gonna show you recipe ideas. We're actually going to create a series coming out of this tutorial with three recipes, and we're also going to refer back to another recipe of ours, which is Steak Diane. If you look over here, this is called the, the side section here. This is the side section is what's called the chain. And what we want to do is we want to separate it. From the tenderloin, from the rest of the loin. And you'll see there's just a natural seam there to do that with. You can take a lot of this meat and grind it up, but there's, there's a lot of other uses for it too. You can use it for stir fry, you could cube it, um, do a lot of different things with it. So we're gonna just follow that on out and get the chain and cut it off. Now I'm gonna stick this right here for right now. And so you start to see now that we've got a piece of meat. See this whole long tenderloin section right here. We're gonna cut some of this off. One side, just a little bit. And then you have this section up here, which is silver skin. You wanna just basically like almost thread a needle. If you just stick that through there and then just slightly angle your knife up. You can take the majority of this off without taking a lot of meat out. Same thing, going back the other way. Just angle your knife up. You're trying to not cut the meat. You're just trying to remove that silver skin. Now some butchers will do this for you for nothing, but a lot of times you'll probably pay as much as five or five or so dollars a pound, which would be like $45 to do this deal. Where you're gonna see it doesn't take that long to do. And it's not that hard. And then plus, you can cut the cuts how you want to cut them. Like we're gonna do different dishes and, and so meats will be cut different in different places. We cut this wing on out. It's called the wing right here. And you know, you could, if you're gonna make a whole tenderloin, you could, you could trim this up a little bit. You could put it however you want to. You know, you can fold this up, up underneath, you're just butterfly, fold it up underneath, tie it all. You just got one long uh, tenderloin if you're gonna just do the whole thing. I'm gonna cut a medallion right here, just to cut this off and just put it over here so you can see this. If you look here now, what you see is the center section. The center section is the Chateaubriand. Uh, so we're just gonna cut that out. And so you've got this entire piece of meat right here, the center section that we're gonna do. Uh, and you know, this could be Chateaubriand for four, I believe. <laughs> It's a big tenderloin. You could cut like a fillet right here if you wanted to do that. But this is gonna be our Chateaubriand for two right here. So we've got a very lean, soft cut of meat right here. Uh, it's the tenderest portion of the cow. And it's the tenderloin, and this is the best part of the tenderloin, the Chateaubriand center cut section right there. So I love how Russell's cut this up. Let's talk about it a little bit, right? Let's take the pieces and take a look at what we've done here. So he's cut these smaller medallions. These are really thin to make a beef tenderloin with. But if you look at um, our webpage and you do the steak Diane, these are perfect for a steak Diane, which is actually wanting a smaller medallion. So I'm gonna set these aside. This piece here, you know, we're going to cut this up and we're gonna put it into some pieces and we're gonna make a beef stroganoff. So, I mean, it's a very elegant beef stroganoff. We also have, let's, let's look at everything we have here for a second. And as he said, this is the wing. This wing 
what we're gonna do with this wing is we're gonna make an appetizer with this wing. We're gonna slice it super thin and we're gonna put it on some crostinis, which we're gonna show you how to do in our video. And we're gonna serve it with some watercress and some horseradish sauce. You also have all this great fat, this chain. Yeah. Um, if you have a stand mixer that has a meat grinder on it, you could make really good hamburgers with this. Um, if you didn't wanna do that, please don't throw it away. You could put it in a pan with some bones and you could use it to make a really delicious, rich beef stock so you're not wasting it. So we've got an appetizer, we've got Chateaubriand, we've got steak Diane, and he's creating some cubes that are gonna go in our beef stroganoff. And so all of that from one tenderloin. So that's pretty much what we have. You did a great job, it looks beautiful. The Chateaubriand is gonna be delicious. Yes. I'm looking forward to it. All your favorite dishes. Oh yeah, <laughs> just out of one piece of meat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So from our table to yours, thank you for coming today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you can get notification of our upcoming videos. We post every Thursday and you won't wanna miss a single video.